Today we'll be demonstrating the installation of a 2 inch True Union 2000 industrial ball valve seat and O ring repair kit. Each kit contains fallen replacement components, two PTFE seats, two and connector O rings, one silk carrier O ring, one stem bearing, and two stem O rings. Sizes 2.5 inch and larger include two seat O rings as well. The tools needed are a 2 inch silk carrier tool, a 3 quarter inch socket or combination wrench, a small Phillips and flat head screwdriver, a set of strap wrenches. You will also need to prepare a mild soap and water solution for lubrication during reassembly. Your installation begins by shutting down and draining the system or line the valve is installed within. Back off union nuts by hand or with strap wrenches and remove valve cartridge. Place the cartridge on a clean, solid surface to work on. Remove O-rings and examine end connectors for damage or debris. Clean both ends and lubricate O-rings. Press O-rings into retaining grooves evenly as to avoid any wrinkles or uneven sealing surfaces. Next, turn the valve into the closed position. Insert the seal carrier tool that came with the valve into the slots and using your 3 quarter inch wrench, unthread the seal carrier counterclockwise while holding the valve body firmly in place. If you no longer have the seal carrier tool, it can be ordered separately along with the seat and seal kit. Now remove the PTFE seats and ball. Examine the ball for damage and clean as necessary. Remove the valve handle and handle lock by removing the blue cap and retaining screw in the center of the handle. Pull the handle and handle lock off the stem using a side to side rocking motion. Now press the stem down in the valve body and remove the stem. Next, using a small flight head screwdriver or other blunt tool, remove the stem o-rings and stem bearing. Next, remove the carrier o-ring. Now the valve is fully disassembled. Clean the seal carrier, then lubricate and replace the seal carrier o-ring. Next, clean the stem and install the stem bearing and two stem o-rings. Only the True Union 2000 industrial ball valve uses two stem o-rings. Clean the valve body and lubricate the stem port and stem o-rings. Reinstall the stem from the inside of the valve body. Make sure the stem is properly aligned to reinsert the ball. Make sure when installing the PTFE seats, the bevel on the PTFE seats face the ball. Install one of the new PTFE seats and then reinsert the ball by lining up the stem drive and slot at the top of the ball. Install the second PTFE seat. Now lubricate the silk carrier o-ring. Make sure the silk carrier is seated correctly. Screw in the silk carrier while making sure the PTFE seat stays aligned. Do not tighten the silk carrier past flush with the valve body. Next slide the handle lock onto the handle and press the handle down firmly onto the stem. Secure with a retaining screw and replace the blue handle cap. Open and close the valve. If you don't feel a positive resistance when closing, cycle the valve and adjust the seal carrier until resistance is felt. 
Do not over tighten the seal carrier. This may bind up the ball and not allow open closed cycling. Now that the valve cartridge is fully assembled, reinstall the cartridge between the two union end connectors. Attach the union nuts and hand tighten. Your installation of the 2 inch True Union 2000 Industrial Ball Valve Seat and O-Ring Repair Kit is now complete.